Hey guys, it's Fletcher coming back to you with another episode of Tootlebit Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to put your kayak on your Super Outdoorsy Toyota Corolla. All you're going to need today is a Super Outdoorsy Toyota Corolla, but any car will suffice. A kayak, not a canoe, and a kayak rack. Mine is by Swiss Cargo. Stick around, I hope you guys really enjoy this one. I know I am because I am getting wicked cabin fever and I'm going trout fishing this week. So the beautiful part about this kit is how easy it is to actually safely secure your kayak onto the roof of your car. So what, what does it come with? Well, it comes with two styrofoam blocks that you actually set your kayak on. It's going to come with two uh, long straps that have hooks on them and two short straps that have uh, a cinching down mechanism on one end. I'll just call them alligator jaws, but I know those are actually for jump starting your car and it has hooks on the other end and then it has uh, two with the alligator jaws but it doesn't have hooks on it and these are the ones that actually go across your your roof and then these ones that are, are going to go into your bumper right here these four and obviously these go on your roof so let's get started and i'll show you how to do this so it's not super easy to notice but there is a more drastic curve on one side of the V-cut and a less drastic cut on the other side of the V-cut. You're going to want those less drastic V-cuts um, pointing towards each other. So I got one here, and then we'll move over, and I got one here, and I don't recommend setting anything on your sunroof. I have a sunroof on my car. I wouldn't recommend setting anything on it just because you're gonna be cinching it down and your sunroof doesn't have as much support as your actual roof. So let's get that kayak on. Oh, there's a little bit of water from when I cleaned it. Oh, and the block didn't stay in place. further back. Beauty! Beauty! My blocks are backwards. Well, my front block is basically the wrong way. Nope, nope, it was the right way. Beauteous. That was probably the worst kayak mount ever though. So then the next step is going to be your uh, horizontal straps. Your horizontal straps have the little, the little hooky guy on it. Sorry for my flow hair uh, in my face. Your little hooky guy on it and it doesn't have a hook on the other end. Okay, so only one end actually has something on it. And you're going to want to make sure the tab is facing out. All right. I'm going to get I'm going to get the other one on here. I'm going to get the other one on here. Sorry if my face isn't in focus. I'm going to get the other one on here and then uh, I'll show you how to strap it down from the inside of my car. So all you're going to do is you are going to feed this through the jaws or alligators, alligator mouths, alligator clips, I don't know what you want to call them. And you can just cinch it down as much as you possibly can without hurting yourself.
do do do. Fixing up some stiff. Hell yeah. That's all that stuff is. So now for the part where the GoPro come, um, now for the part where the GoPro really comes in handy. You're gonna want to find uh, an area like this one right here. Not sure if that's supposed to be loose. Have to get that checked out. Uh, this spot right here, because there's a hole and it's connected to the tra uh, chassis of my car. It's not connected to the bumper of my car. If I was to put it on here, I could easily. I don't know how well you can see this. I could easily rip my bumper off. You don't want to do that. That is, that's pretty bad. So, and then what you're gonna want to do is bring your hook that you just feathered through the system. Feathered? Feathered? Just the hook that you just put through the, your uh, handle on your kayak, and you're gonna want to put it on another one on the other side. Um, every car has these holes in their chassis so you should easily be able to find yours and then after that it's basically the step that you did before with the pull tab and for some reason mine never uh does a very good job of getting very far in but after you get it this cinched down which is what i'm going to do is just pull your kayak down pull that up and for the record I've never lost my kayak it's never gone anywhere so even though there's kind of only a little tab it should be fine so all you do is uh, you do the same thing you did on the back or er, on the back as you did on the front uh, you just do this V strap down and you get it cinched down really well because you don't want your kayak going anywhere so one more quick toodle bit. A way to know if your kayak is safely down and really isn't gonna go anywhere is um, testing this. If this doesn't have like a note to it, it's too loose. So you're gonna wanna come back inside and nine times out of 10, you are gonna have to do this. You're gonna wanna come back inside your car and you're going to want to re cinch your horizontal straps that go across your kayak and then after you do that i recommend going around uh, going around your block or up and down your driveway just to make sure that it's not going anywhere so that's all it is that's all there is to it it's not a very complex process um it does take some uh work to get it on there like I said make sure you're doing a lap or two around your block just to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere uh, do it in a safe place because you never know what happens there could be some sort of error and there you go your kayaks gone and there goes your your watercraft I, w I wouldn't want to be driving down highway 60 uh, to Algonquin Park with this thing and have it dump off the back and that that would be that for it so anyway i hope you guys are staying safe during this time i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something it is goodbye car it is always uh it's always a pleasure bringing you guys these videos i really enjoy making them for you guys so yeah I hope you guys are staying safe. May the force be with you and stay strong guys. I promise you this too shall pass and I also am sorry for all the cars that are passing by. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this Toodle Bit Tuesday and yeah. This is awkward. <laughs>